Not a lot of people have heard of this, so I thought that it would be great to put some more emphasis on Agent Scope. A new and easy way for you to basically utilize a drag and drop application to start easily building apps, LLM apps, as well as multi-agent systems in one of the easiest ways possible. This is a flexible yet robust multi-agent platform. This is Agent Scope. Just recently, they launched a drag and drop UI to help you create AI agents very easily. They have also incorporated Mixture of Experts, which is going to empower developers to build multi-agent applications with large-scale models. It features three high-level capabilities. We first off have it being super easy to use, which includes a variety of different components. You have the fruitful components, comprehensive documentation, as well as broad compatibility. And this is basically for various sorts of applications. It's something that is very easy to actually deploy and it's something that you can actually access through their workstation which is providing this drag and drop programming platform as well as a copilot for beginners of agent scope it's highly robust which basically means that it supports customized fault tolerance controls and retries mechanisms to enhance application stability and this is a really unique feature that I saw incorporated within Agent Scope that I haven't seen with many other types of multi agent frameworks. We have an actor based distribution. This is going to allow for building distributed multi agent applications in a centralized programming manner. And this is basically going to have it so that there will be a better streamlined development. Take a look at this workstation where you can easily build workflows with Agent Scope's drag and drop UI. You can effortlessly place different types of components such as large language model nodes or different types of message nodes to build out your apps or your workflows. It could be also used as automations and you can easily deploy it in various cases. Now this is something that I'm going to be exploring throughout today's video as I showcase how you can get started and so much more. So with that thought guys stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Now before we get started, I would like to introduce World of AI Solutions. This is a really big update that has been launched for my channel and this is where I have compiled a team of software engineers, we have machine learning experts, AI consultants, and this is basically a team where we're going to be providing AI solutions for businesses as well as personal use cases where AI solutions can be implemented to automate certain things or to help business operations. Now, if you're interested, take a look at the Typeform link in the description below. I definitely recommend that you take a look at the Patreon page so that you can access the new subscriptions that will be releasing this week. If you would like to book a consulting call with me, you can do so with the link in the description below as well. So let's just get straight into it and showcase how you can get started with Agent Scope. Now, there's two methods. You can access it through the workstation where you can basically log in with your GitHub account or you can install this locally where you can basically have it in an editable mode or to build, basically have it so that you can build distributed multi applications. This is where you're going to need to make sure that you have Python 3.9 or above installed on your computer. You also need to make sure that you have pip installed. So once you have these prerequisites fulfilled, you can clone this repository. If you do not have Git, this is also something that you'll need to clone this repository. Once you've cloned it, you can then install the packages by going into the agent scope directory and then start installing it with the pip install e command. To build the distributed multi agents, you can obviously follow through with the following commands based off your operating system. And then you can install with this command over here. And that way you can basically start deploying it and quickly get started. Now, there's a lot of configurations that you need to keep in mind, such as choosing the model. This is where you're going to need to go into the model wrapper file and you're going to need to basically configure it. There's multiple different model types that you can use, such as the open AI models. You have the chat models, embeddings, as well as DALI-E. You have dash scopes API that you can utilize. You have Gemini API, as well as multiple others. Olam is a great way for you to access open source models, so just keep that in mind. But basically, once you have these supported local models deployed within the configurations that are over here you basically get a good idea as to how you can change it you just change in your configuration name model type and paste in the api key based off of the api of the model that you're going to be utilizing and from there you can easily start creating agents with the following types of code you can construct conversations and you can easily start it up but in my opinion i think the easiest way for you to set this up is with a workstation that is provided by agent scope where you just simply log in 
Now, say if you're interested in trying out the workstations, which is the drag and drop UI, and it's basically a cloud version of Agent Scope. You basically just need to sign in with your GitHub account, and once you do so, you'll be then sent over to this dashboard. This is the Agent Scope workstation where you're going to be able to work with all of these different types of nodes to basically create your workflow, your application, as well as your multi agent flow. So in this case, there's a couple of examples already, and you can see that this is a two agent example. This was where basically this is an example of how to program a one round conversation in agent scope. This is with just one agent, but you can have it so that there's multiple different agents working and collaborating together to fulfill a task. Now, let me just show you a practical example. This is a multi-agent conversation in agent scope. Now, in this example, it's basically how you can program a multi-agent conversation. It's going to showcase how you can set up a user agent as well as an assistant agent in a conversation. So what this basically will do is that you can basically utilize it so that you can set up coding environments. You can have an interactive coding session, and this is all within agent scopes workstation. You can have it so that there's a chat, which is the dash scope, and this is where it's going to be utilizing the Quen Max model. From here, you can set up the coding environments and you can have it so that there's an interactive coding session where the user agent can send code questions or requests and the assistant agent, which we see over here. This is the user agent and then we have the dialogue agent, which is in a way the assistant. And basically these two are going to work together in this sequential uh, pipeline and they basically will be able to review code and debug and you can use these two types of agents to review the code snippets suggest improvements or help debug code so i went along and i set up this agent where it's a coding assistant within agent scope i utilized that exact same framework and i basically provided a random conversation dot python file and i set it up so that it's going to be used to create a coding assistant this assistant is going to help with coding tasks such as providing code snippets explaining algorithms as well as debugging code so that was like the application i built it was actually a front-end application that you can access through a link and this is where if you have a query you can just send in a query and it will basically output a solution by step-by-step -step processes so this was something that i created with agent scope and this is where i started off by testing out this code snippet i basically provided this code snippet over here which is conversation uh, pi and what happened was that it on it basically focused on getting the code snippet it was able to explain what was wrong and if we scroll down it was actually explaining the algorithm and you can see in text that choose a pivot element from the array uh, partition the array into two halves so it had i had provided the code snippet that was faulty and it focused on finding the error and at the end you'll see that it debugs the code and it provides the correct code for that code snippet that provided and it basically explained that the error occurred because i was trying to access an index that doesn't exist in a list so it was able to range it properly and it was actually able to fix it by checking the index before accessing the element this was the solution that was provided back and it was where i had created this front end as well as the back end and connected the model with the help of agent scope to basically solve this problem now that was just the conversation agent that i created there's so many different possibilities to this and you can see that there's multiple different types of examples that you can get a better idea to create these different types of agents within this workstation so if you're interested take a look at these examples within agent scope's example folder and you'll see that there's multiple different types of things that you can create so if you're interested definitely take a look at this so yeah you it can basically inspire you and show you a different creative approach to utilize agent scope now just to showcase the different components you have different types of models that you can utilize you have the ability to access different message components that you can easily just drag and drop you have agents that you can utilize you can also create your own but within the cloud platform which is the agent scope workstation you're not going to be able to have the same sort of flexibility that you would get if you are to deploy this locally. For example, you're limited to these different models that are stated over here. Whereas if you are to deploy this locally, you can utilize it with Olama as well as other sorts of providers. You have a lot of different restrictions in terms of the agents that you can use within Workstation as well. So it's highly recommended 
recommended that you utilize it locally so that you can customize and create your own agents now another component is the pipeline where you have multiple different pipelines such as a placeholder a message hub where you can connect all the agents together as well as various other types of sequential as well as algorithm pipelines and lastly you have tools that you can utilize such as google search python interpreter you have read text write text and like i said before you can customize these way further if you are to locally deploy this the great thing with this framework is that they're continuously working on elevating this platform where they just recently introduced a streaming mode that you can access for right now as well as the code for it they have just introduced and implemented mixture of agents algorithm you have a new prompt tuning module that's available within agent scope a rag functionality and so many other things this is something that has been continuously been developed over the last couple of months and i truly recommend that you try this out because this is an easy way for you to build large language model applications with this multi-agent framework so if you enjoyed this video make sure you take a look at it with the link in the description below and i'll leave all the links that i use in today's video there as well make sure you follow me on the patreon because this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free make sure you follow me on twitter a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest ai news and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news so with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas